y'all, it's the Cincy Ladies, Texas. My rule of thumb is don't do for one that you can't do for 100 or 1,000. That's how I've been taught as a leader, and I am always, always, always happy to pass on that little tidbit. So I know this time of year, it can be super tempting to feel like you want to spoil your team and all the things, right? You want to give them gifts, you want to send them things, you want to send out Christmas cards, but y'all, as a leader, that gets so expensive. And no, it's not all about the money or whatever, but if you have a smallish team or group, then you're thinking, oh, well, that's manageable. Well, you don't wanna set that expectation, right? You don't want them five years down the road to go, well, I remember when she sent Christmas cards, but she doesn't do that anymore, right? So think, what am I trying to say? Like. Think about what you're doing today and how that impacts you and your business and how your team responds to that later down the road. So again, don't do for one that you can't do for 100 or 1,000 or 10,000, right? When you have a humongo team and you are still wanting to do something special, can you really send out 1,000 Christmas cards or 10,000 Christmas cards? Chances are no, that's a chunk of change, right? So start now and just say, I'm gonna give myself grace and I'm gonna wish them a happy Christmas or happy holidays or whatever, the old fashioned way, by text or send an email or something like that. It doesn't have to be elaborate. It doesn't have to be a Christmas ornament or whatever. Y'all, give yourself grace as a leader because you're not only giving them the, the impression that you did that, that you can maintain that, but that they need to do those things as well. So as they begin to grow a team and they may think, oh, I feel that obligation, right? I feel that sense of obligation to send out Christmas cards or Christmas ornaments or whatever because they are following suit, right? They are following your lead as their leader, sponsor, director, whatever the role is. So you don't want to make them feel that sense of obligation either. So y'all, start now, start today. If you've done those things in the past, it's okay to say, this year, I'm gonna do an email. You don't owe anybody an explanation for your finances or for your choice of what you do. But if you haven't done those things yet, I urge you, to give yourself grace and as you see other people doing things or other people receiving things and you think oh i wish i could do that if you can't give yourself grace do don't do for one that you can't do for 100 or 1000 give yourself grace y'all you're an amazing leader and they respond to you they respond to your leadership more than they ever will a Christmas ornament or a lottery ticket or something like that, right? So give yourself grace. You're doing amazing. Stick with what you're doing. Don't do for one that you can't do for 1,000. Y'all have a good one.